I'm going to show you how to assign a text template to a variable and some use cases on why you'd want to do this. So to go through the first part is assigning it. So I have two variables and these two are text templates. So I'll show you these. So the save text, these are just the regular data type is text. Same thing for the plane. So these are essentially empty before it gets to the assignment. And then there's two text templates. First one HTML, so it's just a rich text. So there's bold, list, italics, things like that. And the plain, you do this plain text. So you'd kind of use this if you're passing this text into a field that does not support rich text. So that's why you'd want to use plain text, like say like in a subject or title or you know, things like that. So kind of show you how that works on a screen. So I just have these two variables. And again, these are set on the assignment. So I'll show you what this looks like really quick. Let's say if you want to have this show up on an actual screen. So here are the assignment. So here's the just a regular text variable, assigning it to a text template, and this is what was passed. So plain text, and then the rich text passed as the HTML. And you can see that here. So some reasons on why you'd want to do this, say you have a decision split where you have different conditions where you want to update, say something on a case or whatever object it may be, create or update, and you would you find yourself creating all these create or update, like three or four different things. And the only thing that's really changing is like what you're passing into this text. So what you could do is have a decision split and have a bunch of these assignments just set the text to be what we need to and only have one creator update action, just have that be dynamically passed through this variable. So say you have another variable or another text template that's a little different, you can pass this in here on the right where it's assigning it, but you always pass this into the final create case or whatever it may be. So that's kind of how I use this. And yeah, let me know how else you would use this as well. Catch you next time.